Today in our 2017 Chevrolet Traverse, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Kirk Custom Fit Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. Offering the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening, its part number is 13424. As you can see, this is going to remain completely hidden behind the rear fascia of the vehicle. It's going to give us a really nice clean look, completely factory. It doesn't look like we've changed anything there at all. Now to access it, we just want to turn the two little tabs that are on the bottom of this plate and we can pull down on that to release it. That's going to expose our hitch. Now the hitch is a class 3 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening here. You can see the nice reinforcement collar around the end makes it nice and sturdy. Now these hitches work out great for bike racks, cargo carriers, trailer hauling, whatever it is, a class 3 hitch there should be an accessory that will work out for you there. Now this is going to have a plate style safety chain connection point on it. Kind of oval hole openings there. Don't seem to have any issues with clearance so you should be able to get all kinds of chains connected. And you'll see our hitch pin hole. It's going to be 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. And we've got plenty of room around it for anti-rattle devices, locking hitch pins, pins and clips. You just want to be sure that those are rated for class 3 use. Now when it comes to our hitch's weight ratings, it's going to offer a 500 pound tongue weight capacity. That's the maximum downward force we can put here at our receiver tube opening. And we've got a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That would be the total weight of our trailer and anything that we were to load up on it. It is rated for use with weight distribution. If you are using weight distribution, the tongue weight rating is going to go up to 600 pounds. The gross trailer weight rating, it's going to go up to 6,000 pounds. Now a couple measurements that are going to be helpful when selecting your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier. We'll be from the ground to the inside top edge of our receiver tube opening. We've got about 18 and 3 quarters of an inch. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's going to be about 5 and a half. And to begin our installation, we're going to take down the appearance panel that's here on the back of the traverse. There are just two little keepers. We turn those, pull down, and they'll come right off. Sometimes if it hangs up, you'll have to pull one of those little tabs out up there on the top. Just kind of push in and pull down on it. We'll be reinstalling that later, so we'll set that aside. And we're also going to lower down the exhaust to give us room to get to our access points. Now before we lower it down, let's use a support strap to go underneath of it. Just a regular cam buckle strap is what we're using here. That's going to give it something to rest on so it doesn't hang down too far. Now we're going to grab a little bit of spray lubricant and we're going to be removing the hanger that's located right here. We go directly on the other side of the tailpipe. We've got one right there. And then if we'll follow this forward, it's going to be another one located right up here in front of this cross member. So we use a little spray lubricant on these. Usually helps them slide off there a little bit easier. And then we'll just use a large screwdriver or a pry bar and get those slid off. Now as you take this one off, the exhaust is going to drop down a little bit, so you want to support it. And then we'll let it come down and rest on that strap. That'll give us plenty of room to get to the two weld nuts that are in the rear of the frame here. We've got one right here, one right here. Those are going to act as our outside attachment points. Those are going to be in the same spot on both sides. Then in the middle, see the two rounded holes, one here, one here. That's where we're going to put our, our plate nuts right up over top of that. We'll show you that in a few minutes. Now it's a good idea before you lift your hitch up into position Use a little spray lubricant and a tube brush to get out any dirt or debris that might be in those weld nuts. If you don't have a tube brush at home, this is part number 814092. We'll do that on both sides, then get our hitch put in place. Now with an extra set of hands, we're ready to get our hitch put up into position. This is one you could do by yourself, um, but make it easy on ourselves. What we're going to do is take our provided hardware, thread it right up in those weld nuts. You can see I got a conical tooth washer on there. I just want to ensure that the teeth of that washer are facing up towards our hitch. Once we get a few good turns on a bolt on each side, then we just let it rest there while we get the rest of our hardware positioned properly. 
All right, now that we've got the four of those in place, let's take care of our center connections. Now, if you have existing weld nuts that are already in place there, just gonna use the same hardware that we did for the side. Since ours doesn't have weld nuts, we'll show you how to take care of that. We're gonna take that, run it up through the hitch, through the hole, and then we just wanna direct it over towards the end of our bumper. See, that'll come out right there. Gonna add on a spacer block to that. Also thread on one of the carriage bolts. So we'll feed those into the end of the bumper there separately. Bring them on over. You'll see they'll come right down through the hitch. We take our pull wire off, raise our hitch slightly, and thread on one of our flange nuts. Now we'll do the exact same thing for the other side. Now we just want to take a quick look. We'll be sure we have our hitch centered on the vehicle and we'll start snugging down our hardware. Now if we look in our instructions, we'll find our torque specifications. What we'll do is go around to each bolt and get it torqued down properly. All right, with everything torqued down, we're ready to get our exhaust put back up into position. Just lift it back up. And then we'll just slide those hangers back on. Should go on pretty easily. If not, a little bit more spray lubricant can help you out there. Now I like to put them back on doing this one first, the forward one second, then the one here on the outside third. That seems to be the easiest way. Now we can pull down our strap and our hitch is gonna be ready for use. And that's gonna complete our installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 13424 on our 2017 Chevrolet Traverse. Click the link below to shop, Learn more or visit us at eTrailer.com.